Hi, welcome to this short video on the KNX system. Uh, the KNX system is a, a system for um, the programming of uh, smart buildings. Um, so very briefly, this video is going to introduce the, uh, the fundamental architecture of um, the KNX system. So in essence, the KNX system is a series of devices um, that are connected through a communication bus to one another. Um, so often these devices are categorized as either switches or actuators. So the switches can be things like a light switch or a, a movement presence detector or a, a temperature uh, measurement, measuring device. Um, each of these devices will have their own individual address um, and those addresses will be you know, different um, from, from one another. And it means that each individual uh, element or device on the on the bus um, can be individually identified and this is what you when you're programming uh, these devices um, you're using this um, this individual device so here I've got um, three switches all with a slightly different um, individual address and they're linked to um, three different actuators again all with differing uh, individual addresses um, so each uh, device also has a series of kind of little sub channels um, which um, uh, will vary the number of which will vary depending on the type of device let me see a little bit uh, more about that in this case each of these devices each of these six devices has just four channels and so on the left side we've got some switches we've got the communication bus linking them together and then we've got the actuators on this side and, and in this case there's just one actuator that, which turns on this light so they're linked together by um, these things called group addresses and these group addresses have uh, they're different from these individual device addresses that they're, they're they are um, a sort of these are the linking uh, addresses which will link say channel one uh, of this device 1.1.1 it'll link um, channel one over here um, with channel three on on this device and each of these different channels will be given different uh, uh, group addresses and it can be given just one or a series of different group addresses so that each channel is kind of linked together through these group addresses. So if I um, were to press uh, a button and switch this uh, switch this light switch on um, then what it will do is it will um, send a uh, an on um, a message to this group address and what that does is it, it flies through the bus and anything that's kind of associated with one slash one slash one it will receive this on device or on value and and this in this case it's coming through channel three and that's going to turn on that that light uh, through that actuator and then what what also happens is that this device will then send feedback uh, back to the bus and that usually comes through a different channel in this case it's coming through channel four and it's sending feedback to say we've switched this light on and it's just communicating that back um, to, to the bus um, and then again if you want to switch it off it uh, we send an off value uh, to this group address that again travels through the bus to channel 3 turns off the light and then feedback comes back to say everything's switched off and that's fundamentally how uh, KNX work we have devices each device has a programming address. Each device has a series of channels to which uh, group addresses can be um, can be assigned. And then uh, what all that happens is there's just an exchange of information between the switches and actuators, all linked by those group addresses. It's a really uh, cool system in that it's decentralized. So if any one device fails, um, the bus will kind of keep on working and all the other elements will, will work and will, will, will continue working um, so its real strength is, is in its uh, um, disseminated architecture uh, which is really cool but it means that uh, each device on the uh, on the system has to be programmed individually and that to do that you use the ETS uh, 5 software and I've got a little video which introduces um, the, the basic concepts of uh, the ETS 5 um, software. So hopefully you can join me in those. Thanks for watching. Bye.